Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video And guys what I have for you today is my Madden 16 budget running backs This has to do obviously with the Ultimate Team game mode. We're talking at the end of November So obviously months from now if you're watching this video, it will have changed a little bit prices on these items will have changed uh, But if you guys have watched my previous budget series from you know Madden 15 or Madden 25 or even the quarterbacks one that we did earlier this year You guys kind of have an idea of what we do here, but Generally speaking, what we do with the budget series is we're trying to find items that are really low priced in this game. In this case, we're talking about 10,000 coins or below at the running back position. And we're trying to find ones that are going to be really high quality players for your team. So if you're running a budget squad or if you're just new to the game or if you just want to save coins and run a cheaper player at, an, at a certain position for a given reason, this is your opportunity to do it, guys. These are some items that I've identified and uh, they're really good at specific things. So we're going to hop right into it guys and we're going to go ahead and start off with what I call my balanced overall running backs I guess and uh, the cards that we're going to be comparing here are going to be Jonathan Stewart on your left this is a football outsiders item and Mark Ingram the team MVP item on the right so I've got here the prices of each card as well as their attributes in the things that I think are most important try to kind of categorize them and keep the the similar things by one another you know the speed stuff the acceleration stuff by itself um, the catching attributes there at the bottom some of like the the juke moves and strength and trucking and all that kind of stuff in the middle so that it kind of gives you a quick idea now obviously on the the left side of your screen you've got the cheaper item here on the right side of the screen you've got the more expensive item and what we're basically doing here is we're not saying that the item on the left is necessarily better than the right item on the right but we're using them for comparison purposes so that you could kind of kind of get an idea of uh you know what things the card on the right is better at and what things maybe aren't that important that uh, you know it's better at but it makes it so that the overall is higher which makes it the price of the item higher all those types of things anyway again guys what we're trying to do here is save coins so uh anything that's in red in the attributes that means that that item's attribute is lower than the other card whereas uh, if it's green then that obviously means that it's higher and if they're yellow, that means that they're the same. So it's just kind of a quick walkthrough of kind of how we set this up. Now, again, guys, I'm not saying that the item on the left is necessarily better than the item on the right. But when we're talking about overall balanced running backs, we kind of have to take everything into consideration. So you can see, obviously, that there's a lot of red on the left side of the screen. There's, there's a ton of stuff that it's red in. But when you actually compare some of the attributes, the things that it's actually lower in, agility, speed, uh, juke move, spin move, it, pretty much almost everything other than maybe carrying and trucking, um, the, the truth is, is that the Jonathan Stewart item is actually very, very close in most of these attributes to the Mark Ingram item. Them. But, you know, at the end of the day, the, the Mark Ingram item is better, but he's also, what, 15 times, 10, 15 times as expensive. So, I mean, it's, it's really a matter of what's worth it to you. Now, my personal opinion is that I would probably go with the Jonathan Stewart if I'm trying to save coins. Uh, take a look at some of the attributes he has. He's solid in acceleration. You know, he's got, like I said, the 95 acceleration. So that's that's a solid attribute there. His top end speed is kind of low with only a 90. But where he's actually extremely high is he has a 97 elusive rate, elusiveness rating, which is up there with some of the absolute best cards at any position in this game. I had to double check this one because I didn't believe that they gave Jonathan Stewart a 97 elusive rating like I know Jonathan Stewart's a good player on the field I understand that I've been watching him for years and he's a good solid running back when he's healthy but 97 elusiveness like I I was not expecting that by any means so that's something that he is very 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 good at Mark Ingram only at an 82 not nearly as good but where these guys are actually very, very similar is, is most of these attributes up here at the top. Uh, like I said, the speed and acceleration, they're very close to one another. Uh, where it's kind of a little bit of a difference is that Mark Ingram definitely has a lot better trucking and a lot better carrying and even a lot better ball carrier vision. So if you're going up the middle with Jonathan Stewart, you're not going to have quite as much success as you would with Mark Ingram. However, my personal opinion is that's not that big of a deal. Uh, most people don't run up the middle with their running backs all that often. There's a lot of edge rushing in this game. Yeah, I understand there's more interior rushing in Madden 16 than there has been in Madden 15, but still, we still, most of us uh, kind of make our money running off the edge. And if you are looking for somebody that can actually run up the middle, we'll talk about that in just a few moments. So don't worry. We'll talk about somebody that's kind of more of a bruiser. But the, the other thing that I wanted to point out here at the bottom, 
the catching attributes between these two uh, cards very very similar to one another they have the same catching catching traffic and route running exactly the same in all three of those attributes mark ingram does have a slightly higher spectacular catch running backs typically aren't going to make that many spectacular catches so that's not that big of a deal both of these attributes are actually fairly decent. I was a little bit surprised to see them uh, with the Mark Ingram having decent catching. I know he's done a lot more catching this year, but I think, if I remember correctly, this card came out prior to, maybe it didn't come out prior to when he was started to catch passes, so maybe I'm wrong on that. But uh, regardless, the bottom line is that these cards are both decent in catching. They're not amazing. Again, we'll talk about pass catching backs here in just a few moments uh, with another comparison, but... These are kind of the overall cards. This is a card that is good in just about every area. He's not spectacular in anything, but he's very, very good at just about everything. So that's why I like this Jonathan Stewart. He's a good base starter, starting running back for your team. And then what we can do is we can kind of look at some of these other cards to kind of complement him in specific areas. So with that said, let's hop in and let's actually start talking about some of the more specific uh, category running backs that we have. And we're going to start off talking about the short yardage running backs. Now, these ones, again, guys, are players that are more built to run up the middle. So on the left side of your screen, I've got LeGarrette Blunt. On the right side of your screen, we've got Adrian Peterson. Now, obviously, LeGarrette Blunt, the most feared item. This does enrage. It will actually probably enrage one more time by the end of the year. There is still a, uh, a Friday the 13th coming up in May, I believe, which, granted, is a long time from now. But when you look at the attributes of that card when it's enraged, it is absolutely ridiculous. So uh, have fun with that one on Friday the 13th if you're going to use LeGarrette Blunt. But even when he's not enraged, this is a really solid up-the-middle running back, as you might expect with it being LeGarrette Blunt. Now, again, there's a ton of red on the left side of your screen right now. I understand that. But what we're specifically talking about are the attributes that have to do with being an interior short yardage running back, the bruising type of running back. So what I like to look at are strength, trucking, stiff arm, and carrying. Those are really the most important things to me. And acceleration can also be pretty important as well because you have to get to their top end speed as quickly as possible. You don't want to get hit in the backfield. So those are really the things that I like to look at. And LeGarrette Blunt is really, really good at all of these things. He's actually the same at Adrian, as Adrian Peterson in acceleration and strength. He's got a 92 acceleration and an 88 strength. But where he makes his money is on the trucking and the stiff arm, man. 97 trucking. He can just destroy going up the middle. You just hit that truck button. He is not falling backwards, guys. I don't care who hits him. I don't care if it's Sean Taylor or whoever it is. He will run them the hell over. And he, maybe he doesn't actually break the tackle, but he's not getting hit going backwards. So if it's third and one, fourth and one, this is the guy that you want on the field. And he will pick up that one yard for you. One yard and a cloud of dust. That is what LeGarrette Blunt is. He's not good at catching. If you look at his attributes, 50 catching, 42 catching traffic, 30 spec catch, 41 route running. That is atrocious. That is like really, really bad. He's not a guy you want out going out for passes. His speed isn't great. He's only an 85 speed. His agility is low. Elusiveness is low. Spin move is low. Juke move is low. Ball carrier vision is solid. It's not amazing. It's it's decent enough. It's it's passable. You're not too worried about that. Uh, but again, guys, he is a absolutely money player running up the middle. He's going for only 8,000 coins. That is super, super cheap for a player like this who can do some damage, like I said, especially in the short yardage game. Whereas you, you look at Adrian Peterson, yes, he's a much more balanced running back overall. But again, guys, what we're trying to do here is look at guys who can run up the middle and pick up good yardage running up the middle. And yes, Adrian Peterson's totally great at doing that, and he's a great overall back. He's gonna, I mean, if you wanted to use this card as your main running back, I would have no problem with it. But obviously, he's almost 200,000 coins. Not everybody has 200,000 coins to spend on one card. So that's why I think LeGarrette Blunt's really, really good as a role player in your offense. You don't use him as your main running back, but you use him as a complementary player to, let's say, a Jonathan Stewart. Or if you want to use some of these other guys, you can actually just kind of swap them in and out as you go along in the game. And depending on what the situation is, you put in the guy that's appropriate for that situation for your team so that's kind of what we're looking at here guys and let's take a look at the next comparison and these guys are the ones that I consider the pass catching running backs so uh, their attributes are really built to go out for receptions uh, they have you know they might have decent blocking attributes as well but we don't really worry about that too much with our running backs uh, the bottom line though Shane Vereen is one of the best gem cards in this game hidden gems so you look at some of these attributes that he has Look at all the green on the left side of your screen right now. There are nine attributes that are green. That is crazy. 
9 out of 15 of these attributes are green for Shane Vereen, which means he's better than the card on the right, which is Matt Forte. And honestly, he's not that much lower in almost any of the other attributes. The only thing he's significantly lower than Forte in is trucking and stiff arm. So if you're looking for a guy that bruises again, he's not built for that. But just about everything else, he is really, really solid. The one thing that I wish the Shane Vereen item had was a little bit better speed. He's only 90 speed. He does have 93 acceleration, which is decent, and he's got really good attributes once he does have the ball in his hand, like his catching, or his uh, agility, excuse me, his elusiveness, spin move and juke move, all those things are really, really good. But he doesn't have the top end speed, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But he is better, again, than the Matt Forte, which is going for 135,000 coins. Now, this is the Matt Forte Turkey Day uh, hero card, or, or I don't know what the hell it is, what's, what it's called, but he's like an elite version of the Turkey Day cards. So, um, you know, obviously he's a little bit rare, which has to do a little bit with his price being a little more expensive. But even still, you compare the price of these items, he's 13 and a half times more expensive than Shane Vereen, and he is absolutely not not worth that. Look at Vereen's attributes here. Catching, 91. That is amazing. That is one of the best attributes that you were going to find in Madden this year. Until the end of the year. Seriously, I bet if you look at the end of the year, there won't be there won't be more than a half dozen running backs in this game who have better catching attributes than this Shane Vereen. 91 catching, 85 catching traffic, 89 spectacular catch. That is ridiculously high for a running back. And he still has 84 route running as well, which is only one lower than Matt Forte. So as an overall pass catcher, he's a lot better better than Matt Forte. So it's kind of interesting. I, I consider Forte to primarily be a pass catching running back. I don't think he's really built to be a primary running back. So that's why I really like the Shane Vereen. If I'm looking for a role player as a pass catcher in my offense, I'm not getting the Matt Forte. Even if I had the, like if, if all things were equal and both of these cards were the exact same price, I would go with the Shane Vereen. So that should tell you kind of where I believe uh, this Shane Vereen stands as far as value in comparison to this Matt Forte. So the last cards that I want to take a look at with you guys today are the ones that I deem to be kind of, uh, they're my style running backs. And these are your speed running backs. Speed first. Okay. I know. The guy on the left is 70 overall, and a lot of you guys know who I'm talking about, obviously. You you didn't even have to listen to this anymore. You already know who we were talking about. The guy on the right, 250,000 coins. He's 93 overall. That's Clinton Portis. But I am telling you guys, if you don't have a Dre Archer on your team right now, you are messing up. This card is ridiculous. He is so fast, guys. 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 94 agility, 90 elusiveness, 90 spin move, 96 juke move. Look at all that green for Dre Archer in comparison to Clinton Portis, who is primarily known as a speed running back, or at least he was back in the day. Uh, he does have solid speed, though. Clinton Portis still very, very good, and, and underst understandably, he is a better overall back. I'm not trying to say he's not better than Dre Archer, but he's 25 times as expensive. And if you're looking for a guy who can go off the edge and pick up those yards down the sidelines, Dre Archer is your man. I am telling you guys, Dre Archer is absolutely money. This is my favorite running back to use in this game. And let me let me say that again. He is my favorite running back to use. He's 70 overall. This is the most feared Dre Archer. 70 overall. There's even a lower overall version of this if you can't find the most feared one for some reason. I don't know if it'll become more rare as the year goes on, but um, there's still like a standard silver Dre Archer card that is still really, really solid. And I think he's 64, 65 overall. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but either way, uh, very, very good running back to begin with. And then they made this upgraded version for the most feared uh, time. And uh, again, this card, just like the LeGarrette Blunt, will re-enrage probably a, like 99% chance it'll re-enrage on uh, in, in May for the second Friday the 13th of the Madden season. So again, go check that one out in May because this card gets absolutely ridiculous. We're talking like 99 speed. 99 acceleration plus he's like six foot 11 so if you want to throw to him down the field it's it's so cheese so yeah definitely go out here and get this dre archer item guys i'm telling you for 10,000 coins you will not find a better card in this game at any position for 10,000 coins he is that damn good my favorite running back in this game i use him as a compliment to chris johnson only because chris johnson's better overall as far as like the ball carrier vision carrying all that kind of stuff that dre archer is a little bit too low in and trucking and that kind of stuff but uh if you're just looking for a guy that can go off the edge and uh you know pick up the yards down the sidelines step out of bounds i would highly recommend that you don't take big hits with dre archer but this card guys is absolutely money i'm a huge fan of it and i know other people are as well so that's going to do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the budget series
series uh, running back edition. If you did, do me a favor, click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And guys, I also want to know what position do you want to see next? We, we've done running backs. We've done quarterbacks. Is wide receiver next? I'm, I'm assuming that's probably going to be the one that you guys want to see next. But I know a lot of people really like the offensive lineman one that I did last year because I was able to go in and break down some of the attributes that are more important that are kind of hidden in the overall attribute of the card. So uh, if you guys would rather see offensive line, cornerbacks, whatever, let me know in the comment section below. I'm, I'd be glad to, to take your suggestions and get to that as soon as possible. So thank you guys again. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys again soon. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.